Schiff gesichtet. Lage 3, 2, 6. Große Entfernung. Hello, my fam. Welcome to a completely new episode of Silent Hunter 5. Uh, Silent Hunter 5. Silent Hunter 3. There we go. Uh, and this is another... We're back with Onelex mod this time. And we discovered a, con a, a merchant, I mean. I want to change our course there a little bit because we're going to crash into the island. But this is where, our, where we should attack, at least. And I don't know why I'm doing this. I thought I'd never do it. But apparently... It has no guns or anything. So, oh, it does actually. I can see him blind and bad for my crew if I just decided to blatantly attack it on the surface when it has those gigantic cannons on its butt. So, let's go to periscope depth and get the crew ready for battle stations. I want to which I'm hope for a better 2021 this year with a riot see that was very a very good start to it by by far it wasn't very good but it will go better and I hope you guys all my viewers had a wonderful Christmas and an even better New Year and 2021 will be better unless war or something's declared then that would be the worse. Kind of lock onto my cargo. Derzeitige Tiefe eins null. Oh, I lost track of it. All right, so we need to plot out its speed and get it identified. I can't see crap. Alright, so I, judging by what we saw in the cheat view, I'm gonna say it's a, uh, forgot what his name is, a new Dell High Freighter, which I think it was. There it is, a new Dell, a Dell High type freighter, which apparently should be uh, Japanese, but it's British. Or is it? I want to get close to it before we even attack it to make sure it's not, uh, it's a friendlier, it's not a neutral or friendly ship. That'd be the biggest embarrassment of all. And it'd be a quick end to, uh, Kurt Eisen's career. So, start the clock thingy to get the speed counted and start. There we go. So, how have you all been for uh, the, the, from COVID, really? Ravages everything, but the end is, in, is near for COVID. It's gonna end soon, it will for sure. The vaccine is here. And the world will rejoice when it's finally dead and life can go back to normal. Maybe life won't be normal for so long if a war breaks out. That would suck. 
I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and got to see family and friends, which I didn't because I was stuck in the house and quarantined because I had COVID for a while. But it sucked. Not actually, COVID didn't really suck all that bad, but I got a mark. Mark. There we go. I just had a uh, really dry nose, kind of like when you have water up your nose, but then it was also stuffed up further up. And I felt a little heavy headed, I guess, and a little nauseous. But I just stayed in my room and didn't even interact with my brothers and my family because I needed to stay away from them. And I only came out when I needed to. That was lovely. I didn't have to see anyone. All right, so meters and minutes. We had 300 meters, which is about nine and a half knots. So let's get a little closer. Oh, I can't tell. I'm gonna guess it's British though, since it's traveling in uh, British waters. But I'll be so pissed if it's actually American or like some neutral kind of ship. Because then that means that we all have to say goodbye to Kurt Eisen. Range is 4.1 kilometers. Okay. Angle on bow is... Whoops. 64 degrees starboard. Yeah, 64 degrees starboard. There we go. It's going fast, apparently, but not really. And since it's not going that far, I mean, that it's not that far out, I bet you we can use some of these uh, T1s at fast. That's what we're going to do. What I'm going to do is make sure that we actually can sink this on a 90 degree angle because I want to find where a 90 degree angle would be. So I think what we're going to do is turn the boat this way because I don't want my torpedoes to be duds. So there we go. Let's get this sorted out. 63 degrees. Oh, I think I lost track of him. Alright. Recalculate. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Fire board machine is stopped. 67 degrees. That's more like it. Bring this range down to around uh, 200, 2,800 kilometers. There we go. So set speed to medium, actually. And when it gets to 350, we will calculate even a little new pattern, like right now. 355, actually. Ninety-one degrees. There we go. Perfect. Anyways, let's open tubes two and one. Salvo. Just turn off. All right. Tubes one and two are opened. And ready for firing. Tube one. Tube two, stand by to fire. Tube one. Los. Tube two. Los. Right. Don't watch it on the clock here. It's going to take about a 
two minutes or so. Two minutes and 13 seconds. Anticipating this explosion. If it's a dud, I'll be so mad. Because I hate duds. But in that case, we should probably get the tubes four and three open for firing in case they do. Oh, thank God. I thought they prematurely detonated. In case they do miss. Torpedoes seem to be less than a thousand kilometers out. One kilometer out. A thousand kilometers. One kilometer out. Less than 800 meters now. Alright. Now we just need to wait for it to get to the 12 here. And we should be good. Torpedo impact, maybe. Trick. Torpedo missed. Increase speed then. Those are impacts for sure, baby. Look at that. There she goes, going down. Took us enough torpedoes. That brilliant fire going across the deck. Alright, surface the boat. Brilliant. The graphics are beautiful. Took us long enough to use our torpedoes. We fired, had to fire four torpedoes as the first solution missed. Probably should have learned to round up. Whatever. Anyways. Seems we are breaking the surface. Look at that. She's going on fire. Let's go ahead and slow. Let's see if we can... He's dead. We're unable to completely see the sinking. But I did get a good screenshot that I made using the thumbnail. Anyways, let's see what we got for our orders. Our orders are to reach BE-67, which is all the way out in the Atlantic right here. And sink some ships there. There is, unfortunately, only the Belgian supply ship all the way up there if we were to get fuel. I would go to Vigo or uh, the Thalia and Cadiz to get a resupply, but we can't because there are no resupply ships there. We should be able to make the journey back on uh, some fuel. Now I'll come back to you when we have a little something more exciting to see. So, ciao. A little bit of a predicament. I decided to reload my internal torpedoes, and guess what? We came across a freaking merchant. I don't know what this one is, and I'm not going to use the cheat view to see what it is. But since it's so dark out, I think we should be able to approach it on the surface and see what it is. All right.
What is the nearest visual contact? Bearing zero zero one. I can just see it right over there. I'm sure what it is. Get closer. Appears to be an ore carrier. Appears to be. Hopefully it's enemy. And since I believe it has no guns, we shall call on the deck gun crew and flat gun crew to attack her. There we go. Flux Fire fry, fire short range, and aim Feuer out. frei, Feuer über kurze Party. Distanz, auf Wasserlinie zielen. Who are you shooting at? That is horrible. There we go, that's more on target. I don't think we've honestly been detected yet, or else we'll search it. Come on. That's a shame. Close again. Damn. I think we shot over shot her. Yeah, we'll keep on shooting over her probably that much. Or that distance and I ah! Yeah, we need to go down a little bit more. Probably. There we go. Got her right on the bridge. All right. Boom, look at that. There she goes, she's going down. Look at that brilliant glow. Beautiful. Well folks, that's it for now actually. Not, not it for now, not this season, the episode is over, but I mean, this part is. So I'll come back when we have some other interesting to show ya. Let's do that. So, ciao, folks, I come here bearing a bit of sad news. News, not news, not news. There we go. Since I want to keep you guys interested in this patrol and not literally finish the entire patrol in one episode, 
I think I'm gonna end here. Hope we get some other stuff in. It appears to me that weather is quite rough. I can't quite make out when there appear to be whatever weird formations are there in the sky. Seems to be a little rough. But anyways, thank you all for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. This is Texas Red signing out. Bye-bye.